everyone. I am Ravi Kumar Jain from a public school, Kalaburgi. Today, I am here with a topic light from CBSE chapter 10. So, we will be dealing with light chapter as we have already dealt with the basic of light and what are the uses of light. Then we have also studied about plane mirrors and all. And today, let us deal with one of the most interesting topic which is much important for the 10th standard class when you are facing board exam. Okay, That is concave mirror, convex mirror and then rules to draw ray diagram in case of concave mirror. Okay students, so before dealing with these topics, concave mirror, convex mirror, then rules to draw ray diagram in case of concave mirror and then convex mirror, let us first deal with concave mirror. To understand what is concave mirror, let us draw a concave mirror. So, to draw this concave mirror, how I have to draw the concave mirror? You know, this concave mirror is a part of spherical mirror. Spherical mirror, which is in the circular shape, right? This is in a circular shape. This is a spherical mirror, okay? When you are going to divide this circular shape, okay, you are getting two parts. You are going to get two parts, okay? So, one is this shape, okay? And the other one is of this shape. You could see one part is curved inside and here the second one when you see this is curved outside. So in order to differentiate between concave mirror and convex mirror we have to deal with these curved inward and outward surfaces. The one which is curved inward is made reflecting surface and the outside part is shaded or is done a silver coating wherein you get the reflection of the inner surface. So why this is shaded? Why this is shaded? In order to, why this is shaded with the silver is just because silver is considered as the best reflector. So this is curved inwards and this is the reflecting surface. This is the reflecting. So I am going to draw here with the red shade which is the reflecting surface and the outside one which I have shaded with the lines, okay, that is the that is the non-reflecting surface. Very good. So, now dealing with here. So, if I have to draw. Now, I will choose center of this spherical mirror. Okay. I will choose the center of the spherical mirror. And I am going to draw a line. A straight line passing through this pole. Okay. Passing this center of the spherical mirror. And this is spherical mirror. Center of the spherical mirror. We call it as pole. Is that clear? Now. As I said, this is a spherical mirror, okay, the center of this spherical mirror, I call it as center of curvature and I represent it by C. Is that clear? Yes. So, this is the center of the reflecting surface, so I call it as a pole and this is the center of the spherical mirror which I call it as center of curvature. Now comes, then what is the CP? What is this? CP. Now CP from the center, so any, any circle that you take, okay, from the center of that circle to the circumference, we call it as radius, right? So here also, as this is the curvature, you know, so this is my palm, okay, if I am going to curve it a little, okay, then this is in the shape of a concave mirror. If I hold it like this, you can see this is curved inwards, this is curved inwards, right? This is curved inwards, so this is the concave mirror. Just if I flip like this, okay, you could say it is curved outwards and this would be the convex mirror. So similarly here, this is a concave mirror, this is the, the reflecting surface is curved inwards. So we call it as concave mirror. Now coming back to here, from the center of curvature, okay, to the pole, we call it as radius of curvature and it is denoted by R. So this is the radius of curvature. Curvature. So this curvature, I am going to draw one perpendicular line here, okay, this part is called curvature. So as and when the curvature is going to be smaller, then the focal length is going to be increased. If the curvature is going to increase, then the focal length is going to be decreased. So, so in this topic, we have dealt with the concave mirror, okay, and few nomenclatures of the concave mirror. In the next video, let us deal with the other parts, other terminologies of this concave mirror. And till then, I request you to just go through these classes, okay, and practice more and 
Also, in the meanwhile, please do subscribe our channel APS Kalaburgi. Okay, thank you so much. You have a safe day. Okay, stay home, stay safe. Thank you so much.